Okay, it's shock changing day. Going from our Blistine, Blistine, don't know how you pronounce that exactly. It's one or the other. We're changing those out off of my 2005 Winnebago that has the uh, workhorse chassis, uh, W24 chassis. And we're putting on the new Cooney shocks or Coney's. And uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit better ride. These things were completely wore out after all these years. Um, just to show you how it's how it's done, it's pretty easy. Got quite a bit of room under these chassis. Uh, all it takes, you got a uh, inch and an eighth nut and, and a bolt. Now I didn't have, for some reason, I don't have an inch and an inch and an eighth wrench, but I'd had two sockets, and two ratchets, so that's how I did that. And I did take a little piece of cheater pipe because they was on there tight. So didn't have no, didn't need no air tools, just a piece of pipe, and cut them off. Then, of course, down at the bottom, you got got another the same size bolt. You know what goes through the leaf spring. You see it. You want to make sure you have it turned right. But you notice if you can see the spacer. See how the let me move this bolt back. Okay, you see how the spacer is. It's wider on one side than it is the other. So just make sure as you remove your old one, make sure you orient it and put the new one back on the same way, so it's spaced correctly. It really wasn't no problem. Uh, cut the fronts off real fairly easy. Then went to the backs. He's about the same. Done got them off, so I'm gonna show you what I I, I did when I was under there. Uh, for the back shocks, now we I have a 2005. I think around 2004 or so they they changed the design. Uh, so I think 2004 and Ford you have this this style of, of shock where you've got the the nut on top. So if you are going to order some for yours, make crawl under there and make sure you've got you're ordering the right set of shocks so you don't get the wrong ones they're pretty tight uh, but you know I use a 18 inch got me a, a little piece of pipe and got them broke loose the only thing I had to do is put a pair of vice grips on the shaft because it, it, it wanted to rotate but uh, got that off and pretty easy so now we're fixing to replace it with the new ones so we'll Let's start on that. All right, a little more info. <clears throat> I got my boxes out here just so you know what's what. Okay, so for, for the front shocks, there's my part number. It's 8805-1001. That's that shock there, and the rears is the 8851002. And I did notice something different between the Bill Stein, Steen, whatever you call these things. They're ga gas-filled shocks, because as soon as you take them off, they ex expand, you know, fully. And um, so what, that makes the back ones a little bit of a pain because you got to really pull down on them to, to get them unhooked, but but what, no big deal. Uh, and, uh, and and the the coonies are not that way. These are I guess oil filled. They just work a, a different way. So hopefully that way is better. Something else I I noticed is the diameter. You see, lay on top on the cylinder, the the, the coonies seem to be this little bit larger diameter on, on the piston which uh, maybe that makes them work a little bit better I would I would hope so I would assume so yeah. you can see the, the difference in them so we'll find out shortly get them installed and take them for a little test drive see how it does front shock is on it wasn't bad and I did cheat I, I went and got me a, a half inch impact and air compressor and zipped them on real quick one thing about it, it's pretty loud under here with an impact, so earplugs would have been nice after that. It's just on there good and tight. Then I put my wrench on it with my cheater pipe and make sure it was tight as I can get it. So, all right, do a couple more and we'll try to Okay, I'm trying to hurry up. It's starting to get dark on me. But as you can see, we got this shock installed. I ain't torqued it yet. Got my torque. Oh boy, it's dark up there. Goodness gracious. All right, I got this on the ground. Be sure to check light your bushings. They, they will come with a little instructions, luckily. And they're different from the top to the bottom. It gives you instructions for the top, and it gives you instructions for the, for the bottom. So make sure you lay out your bushings and put them on the, the correct way. So you got your little step. Every time I start to record, I get a phone call. This is me up. Okay. And, um, no, I didn't hurt myself. Go away. I'm recording this. I'm making a YouTube video. Yes, I'm not talking to myself. Friend thought, my friend thought I was crazy. He walked by the RV, heard me talking, talking to myself. Are you all right under there? Anyways, 
Okay, here we go. We got spacer there. Right, I've got this. And you got your cup washer. Yeah. Oh, here's a cup washer up right there. And, and also, let me point this out to you while I still got some daylight, is they could put you a nice little Allen, Allen wrench hole up here so you can hold it still if you have to because I guess getting the dawn on there it may want to try to rotate with you before you get it tight and you want to torque it at 74 foot, pa foot pounds both both nuts top and bottom, bottom 74 so let's see if we can get this up in here yeah it's no problem it's getting dark though isn't it it's hard to see okay right. I have to turn on the light on this thing do a little more recording just to show you, because they tell you to torque it up to 74 foot-pounds, but there ain't no way you get, you're going to get your torque wrench up there to, to torque it. Because remember, this has a spacer in it anyway, so it tightens down. It starts really getting tight once you hit, hit the spacer. So put your Allen wrench in here, let it roll around, hit the frame, then get your big long wrench, and get a good and snug, and uh, you'll be good to go. And then uh, same way on the bottom. Well, with the bottom, you can get the torque wrench. But still, it's kind of a pain because you got to lay upside down to, to see the to see the numbers. But uh, all in all, it's not so bad. Anybody can do that. Okay, our first test drive in the new shocks. Much better. Nice, smooth ride. Not got all the crazy bounces like we had going around the corners. So I think it was a good good choice. Nice, smooth ride.